Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews, back with another video, and as you probably know, with the new iOS 17, one of the best new features are the interactive home screen widgets. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the best of those that you can get for your device right now. Now, before we get started, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not yet subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoyed the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting things off with iScreen. Now, iScreen offers a lot of different widgets that you can add to your home screen. Just go into the app and explore the widgets and, of course, save the ones that you like here i have three different one of those so the one at the top it will show time and date but we can switch here to the settings or we can switch to the health or to the weather right there but that's only for the premium version and then we have a counter here which we can use to count things directly from the home screen of course and we can reset it as easy as that and we have a pretty fun one right there this is actually a light that you can just simply turn on and off on the home screen moving on to tally now tally is a tally counter it allows to count things now you can do that straight from the home screen with the home screen widget of course you have the plus and the minus and you can easily count anything you want directly from the home screen of your ios 17 device desktop calculator is up next now this is a fully functional calculator right on the home screen of your device and it works very very nice so you can see right here we have the pad we can just go ahead and type everything we want as easy as that of course you get the result and everything as you would get on a calculator app they will have also a button right here to expand this if you just want to go into the app but again it works perfectly fine from the home screen you have all the features of the calculator that you actually need now next up is a pretty cool old school game that we probably have played most of us have played this before it's called minesweeper and you can now play directly from the home screen of your device so it's actually really cool to have this on the home screen play around with it and you will have here of course a few different buttons you can add the flags right there you can have the sound on or off and of course you will have a button right there to actually reset the game anytime you lose so it's a pretty cool fun game if you're kind of old you probably remember this and now you can play it directly from the home screen of your ios 17 device next up is photo widget and with photo widget you will be able to have any album that you want from your camera roll on your home screen or just add photos to the app and then display them on one of the widgets now the interactive part with these widgets is that you can just tap on the widget to change to the next photo so of course based on the photos you have there on the album that you have you can just quickly tap to actually just move to the next photo next up is lock launcher now with lock launcher you will be able to have your apps or even your settings on the home screen and open them directly from there so i have here apps or i have maybe my settings i want to go to bluetooth settings it will take me to bluetooth as easy as that so on the app right there you will have actually a few different options so you will have a few different groups of apps or settings that you can add here and then you can choose any of these groups to be displayed on the home screen simply tap on the edit widget and then just choose the group here that you want to see and you can go ahead and launch them directly from the home screen next is overcast a pretty popular podcast app so if you use overcast to actually play your podcasts now you can take advantage of the interactive widgets so you will have the bigger one here with some of the recent episodes of the shows you follow and the most recent one will be right here on the smaller one again you can tap right there to start playing directly from the home screen so it will have a play a pause button then of course you will have the buttons as well here on the bigger ones so you can just go ahead and pick any of the episodes and start playing from here next up is tick tick it's an app that actually allows you to keep lists of things that you have to do, maybe like a grocery list or anything that you have to do. So you can just go ahead and check off the things that you have already actually completed. So you will have a smaller one. It has all kinds of different widgets, but here are two examples, a smaller one and a medium one with a calendar. And then right there, you will have your list. Of course, you can just tab there to 
actually dismiss anything that you have already done and then we'll have a plus button here that takes you into the app where you can directly go ahead and enter a new task next is home widget now if you use the home app on your device with all the accessories and all that stuff then you will need this widget and now it's of course interactable so you can add your stuff there and of course you will have a bunch of different actions that you can perform simply by now tapping buttons directly from the home screen of your device you tap on edit widget and you can choose the panel that you have actually added into the app choose where you want to place it and of course you will have now all the buttons directly on your home screen next up is calorie now if you use this app to keep track of your calories now you will be able to use it directly from the home screen without having to use the app at all so let's say i want to log 300 calories tap right there as easy as that i can tap right there to add calories you can see we have the bigger one and the medium one right here which in my opinion looks way better you can also scan qr codes or you can log water directly from here so you tap the button right there and takes you into the app so you will have a bunch of cool different options to quickly log your calories on iOS 17. We have Shopee List next. Now with Shopee List, again, you will be able to have the list of your groceries that you have to buy on the home screen of your device. And this will be, of course, a very easy to keep track as you're on the home screen, you have the widget, and anytime you purchase something, you can simply tap there. It shows you how many items you have remaining. Of course, if you're using a smaller widget, if you're using the bigger one, it will show you way more items. But with this one, you just tap like that and you're good to go. Next up is habit. Now with habit, you will be able to track the progress on your daily habits. Now, now you can do that with the home screen widgets of iOS 17, of course, which are interactable. Now, what you need to do is 3D touch on a widget and tap on edit widget and then choose here the tap action choose on complete habit. And now you can use this to actually complete your habits directly from the home screen you can see it works on all of them at the same time because by default it will just open the app so you will have to set the action to actually complete your habit next up is a widget named play now this app actually allows to save your videos from youtube so you can play them later of course you can save their links as long as you should copy a link on youtube and just go and paste it into the app now the thing here is that those videos of course can be categorized and actually separated using tags and on the home screen widget with ios 17 now you can view all the videos there or you can just go to one of your tags you can switch between all and your tags right here now of course if you want to play any of these videos you can do that as well so you simply tap on the video that you see right there on actually on the widget here and it will play that video for you now the thing is here that once you play the video it actually will remove it from here so you will only have that saved of course kind of like a reading list so once you're done with that video it actually gets removed and last but not least is focus now focus is an app that will allow you to focus on your work or on your reading whatever you're doing and now you can have a timer for that on the home screen of your device which of course is interactable you can just start it directly from the widget here and you will have everything you need right there so you will have a bigger widget like this one right here but also a smaller one where you can resume or pause a session as easy as that and you will have a button to go to the active tasks right here so you tap there and you go to active tasks where of course you can add any task you want within the app so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are some of the best interactive widgets that you can get for your ios 17 device right now now of course there will probably be way better ones in the upcoming days as a lot of other apps will be released supporting interactive widgets and of course most likely some of the bigger apps and most popular apps that we use daily will also be updated with support for interactive widgets on ios 17 but as far as now these are some of the best that you can get on your device and if you want to download any of them make sure you check out the pinned comment you will find all the links you need right there so that's it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos leave a like if you enjoyed this one i will see you on the next video